What's going on guys, Sci-Fi here, welcome back to their episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla here on the channel, almost to Origins, I keep messing it up, I've been playing that game for so long, I keep messing it up. But anyways, we are here in Aligrad now, we just killed Kyotve, um, Gorm, his son's on the loose, and his men are still, like, going around, like, you see right over there, that's his men right there, Try to come around and ruin everything. At least, I think that's his men. Right? Or maybe, the, actually, that those might be our, our men. Wait, are those... Wait, those are his men. Those are... Wait, those are Harold's men. I just accidentally killed them. I just realized. What was I doing? That was so dumb. Okay. There's also a uh, drinking thing going on here. Your clan is a foul step. Ah, a thirsty foe. Sink it faster than me. You are a winner. Ah, uh, sure. What's the in you? Put your silver on the barrel. Um, medium. Man your horn. Okay. I probably will lose, but strong with stink. Step closer, seal face. Say that again. I said your stench is strong. That's your only strength. Your stench. I will feed your teeth. Wrapping your tongue back out. That's one. I messed it up now. Great. Okay. This is where I start falling over. Oh, messed it up. Okay. Come on. Hey, I won! Yay! Let's go! Thanks for the... Thanks for the, the coins. Oh, great. <laughs> I'm all drunk now. At least I'm going into a cutscene. Well, that was fun. I actually won a drinking game. You just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet, by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his Why is Gorm here? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Big Gorm going around all smiling. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find um, I've already drink it a lot, but okay. I'm just gonna get really drunk and almost kill myself, probably. Well, I guess he can probably drink a lot. It's hide them well. He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Um. Take it. Trade it for what you can. Oh. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. I kind of already did that. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. I mean, I didn't do that, but... um. Want me to join? I guess I don't think that's gonna happen. Now. But is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, religion hardly matters to me. 
I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna blend in. I mean, I kind of already did that. I just wasn't able. I was just wasn't blending into a crown. I would just uh, was having the cloak on in the south area. Territory is an exercise in subtlety. Yeah, th so those people are on our side. I don't know why I tried to attack them last time. A hood is being too forgettable, dismissed at a distance, remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. Okay, so we'll keep our cloak on. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. I'm already wearing it, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Except that what I'm wearing right now this, this looks very noticeable to be honest. Gorm is there in the camp ahead. So if I just walk in slowly with my hood, people will not really look at me. This is actually really smart to be honest. Like this is cool. This trust area. Now I see why I need the cloak. But where are you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach. Uh, uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. Oh wait, much. shoot. Don't How walk that, that fast. Feed before me. Are you... No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Can I restart? Can I, re can I restart? Restart here. I want to res. I want to try that again. Don't want to have that happen to me. Let's try one more time. Okay. So I'm gonna do. All you have to do is just, you just have to look, walk like over here when they when they when I pass them. Okay. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach. So just see this. They won't notice me. Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feed before me. I have some roast. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Come on. Great. Come on. Why is it so hard to blend in? Holy crap. We're supposed to be going in here blind. We're supposed to be going in here secretly. And instead, I'm having a big fight now. Gorm is probably being alerted right now, to be honest. So, Hobby screwed it up. Oh, my cloak's back on now. Cool. <laughs> I'm so being very secret. They don't know I'm here. <laughs> I just killed all those people. You are a shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What okay. What if I kill you right here then? You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. Ah, oh, come on. I will give you no trouble. Yeah, well, I already killed all the other Shed people, so. This world without honor, Gorm, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. <laughs> Keep growing. Good line. Anymore. You only make yourself an easier target. I really wish I could just kill him. Does it matter if I kill him? Like, do I really need to 
like, listen. What happens if I just killed him? Would it, would it really matter? Take our cloak off. I think we're good now. So whenever, whenever I need to go into a distrust area, I'll wear that. Or like a stealth area, then I can just wear that and I'll be good. So from now on, never attack people wearing green. Because those are Keen Herald's people, so you don't want to get them angry at us. So don't do that. The all thing is getting underway. Oh, is this where is this King Harold becoming a king? Or something, I think, maybe. Hello. Tommy Gordon still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Well, I mean we can kill him probably outside of this place, but I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. <laughs> Many of you knew my father, Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arse near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. <laughs> I dream of something greater. <laughs> a vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald. But I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. Hmm, okay. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Oh my God, this dude. Kjertveson, you dare show your face in this hall? Did not King Stirbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father Kjertve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Background, you lie. Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor wow. Wish and a lie. Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Um. I don't. If we kill him, then. Banish him, I think. Exile, Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Yeah. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. <laughs> Leave these Worm, <laughs> Gorm, I name you Worm? Wow. You to the crows myself. So he just got kicked out. Okay, that's probably better than just killing him. Because he just gets an easy way out if we do that. May I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing for Oh, me? I... He's just giving Securing up. Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. 
Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. <laughs> this is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. <laughs> wow, you're just bickering at him. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bunyal. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. I don't know if all, I, I, all things do end, so I guess that's true. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Um... I am bound to see your eyes see Valhalla. Um... I dream of a glorious death. Valhalla. Not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. Oh, he says that anyway. But if fate should cross our threats again. I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. So basically, we're just kind of like leaving with Sigurd, even though we are, we're always welcome here. Because we're bound to Sigurd. Because he's our brother. Harold's colors. He is already back in his territory. Already? Gods, he sprang like a horny pup. Harold may be young. <laughs> what but the he's heck? Clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very <laughs> Tag, what's up with you? That was kind of gross. Okay. You there? What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. I didn't even. Can I Are you speak one to of you? Men? I am. The king wishes to make a survey of the land he now rules. Nothing more. Let me ask. Are you one of the conquered? Did Harold take your lands as well? No. My family has lived under his banner since the days of his father, Aftan the Black. Hmm. Well, welcome to Fornberg, warrior. Okay. I don't know why you were getting angry at me. I'm just here passing through. This is where I live anyway, so don't get angry at me. <laughs> Ooh. Um, the auto assign points. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I guess it just shows for me. Reset all skills. Why would I do that? Um, I guess back. I didn't mean to do that, to be honest, but whatever. Okay. So let me go over to. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. Let's go over here. The Gunnar. Let's see if I'm able to do anything. Hello. How can I help? I get anything? Uh, let's enhance the quality of our cloak. Nice. Let's also enhance the quality of our boots, our breeches. And that'll be good. Do you need anything else? I'm good now. 
I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. Thank you. Okay. So Sigurd is here. I'm gonna go speak to him. Wait, what? To race by yourself. He's here? Wait, what? Hello? What do you see, Sunan? I think he's inside somewhere. I'll be in here. It's Avon! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where mm. will we live? The English will fight back. The wash will never end. Or they will push us into okay. the Christian way. So everyone's getting angry about what's happening. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtva and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. We're just not leaving? What the heck? <laughs> so we push forward to newer lands. Okay, then. You coming with us, Bassam? Seems like he is. Oh, we're going to England? Oh, heck yeah. I'll go to England. Have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. Mm. In England, we must start anew. You so we're just going to be building know, everything? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Okay, then. I guess we'll just leave it to him. We can, we'll just start anew anyway, so. Object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England then, before the day is out. Alrighty then. Need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. Oops, I just glitched again. <laughs> is the attention of Harold's troops. Alrighty, so we're off to England. Is Valka coming? How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. So, she's not going to come with us right now, but she might come there eventually, is what she's saying. Okay. Because her mom's too sick to go anywhere. Going off to England. Jeez, this is going to be a long way. How far? Okay, we'll figure out when we get to the docks. Oh, what the heck? Can I not go on the zip line? I want to go on the zip line. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Collect, collect, collect. Nice. Alright, we're speaking to Sigurd and we'll be heading off. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. 
The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. The act of leaving so beloved a home. There is a sadness to it. Having doubts? Well, we'll make a new home soon. Not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready, alright. It's time to go. I'm ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Oh, great. Wings than we. King Harold's banner. Can we... Is he gonna realize that we're leaving? Great. Can we just tell them that we're leaving? How does this work? What is this assembly? What are you oh, planning? great. An exit, His dad's here. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here. Well, apparently we're just going to leave side. anyway, so. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Steer Bjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is, Eivor swung the axe. What? If the dead could speak, I didn't do anything. Their deaths, Wolf kissed. They would tell you how they offered us insults and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a bare gelt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty oh my weight. Gosh. You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain? I guess because I killed those people there. Could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No, I will not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. Okay. So he kind of doesn't want us to go, but he's okay with us leaving. So he'll just stay here and do whatever he's going to do. Alright. All of us are headed off to England. Hey, I get to sit. I don't even have to do it. I don't have to drive the boat anymore. Put some muscle into those pools. I guess Sigurd's gonna be the the person driving. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The songs of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for them. How far are we going? Sing a song to lift out Hoog. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our We're probably going a long way, to be honest. Like, actually. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well for your troubles. I spent the season in their kingdom of mercy. A temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. And we mean to join their army. They will join ours. In time... All of England will know of Ravenclaw and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England, to England, Oh, this is so awesome. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the official beginning, guys, right here. So we had the start of the game where we've been in Fornberg all the way in Norway, but now we are going all the way to England. Oh, it's Layla. She looks different. Oh, okay. So we're waking up from our animus. Oh, where are we now? Wonder what it'd be like to be using that. It'd be kind of cool, but also probably painful. And she's smoking, okay. Probably not the good to be smoking and taking pills at the same time. Wow, 
Why is she giving me the death stare? What's going on? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wait. Are you being like tracked? What's happening? What's going on? In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Mm. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say... I just realized she's wearing the AirPods. <laughs> Oh, new and citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. Oh, jeez. Little mini earthquake. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Oh. Oh, is that Eivor? Wait, is that actually Eivor? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Oh. Mm. How did he get here? Where even are we? Like, right now? Are we, like, in England? Like, what? So he just died here? Or was he buried? Okay. Interesting. I'm just gonna go exploring a little bit. Very cool. It's really weird to be playing as Layla again. Oof. I'd rather walk into town than use this. <laughs> Going back inside, probably. Did I'm not gonna. Tea? Yeah, there's people in there. Don't go in there yet. Some quality stuff here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go explore around, and then I'll go inside. I don't want to mess anything up, though. I want to actually be able to find everything. Can I not climb? Apparently I can't climb. <laughs> That's weird, okay. Don't know if there's anything else to be looking at. Oh, there's a mailbox. Someone's got mail. An invitation to a fair in Concord. Bring your best crop and you may win a prize. Tempting. Hmm. I don't know. this in a coffee shop somewhere in Concord. I can't really climb anything or anything. Like, I can't. So I guess it's kind of like we're enclosed here, it seems like. Alright. Very interesting to be looking around everywhere. Oh, here we go. Look over here. It's beautiful. But it's not normal. Well, of course it's not. And the Aurora Borealis should not be visible for that long. Okay, I'm gonna go inside now. Seems like we got everything. So how do we even find the Avors here? Like, did we just do research? Like, how do we figure it out? Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. <laughs> I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Okay. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, 
Most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Are we in the U.S.? I guess technically could be, but I don't know. Did, did, are we, like, in, like, where are Listen we? say. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. <laughs> you gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Huh. <laughs> okay, it's a laptop. It's quite nice. Soothing. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Hmm. Let's have a look. What's on the laptop? I think it's just the uh, yeah, it's like the mailbox and files. <laughs> I don't have COVID. That's funny. Um okay. I don't have anything important on here. Oops. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Can I move? Hello? There we go. Sean has been busy. Strange message. An audio fragment sent from an unknown location to our encrypted servers. Nothing was stolen, nothing corrupted. Just a quick deposit and gone and we got lucky this time. So what is it? A cryptic sound file, voice unknown with a signal beneath it. The signal was a code. Led us to a precise spot here in New England. Oh, so we are in the US. We dug in good lore, we struck gold. Well silver, dominant currency in the dark ages. Point is, it was a gravesite, a Norse warrior dating to the late 9th century, early 10th century AD. A few centuries before the earliest known settlements, this is big news if we have it right. Questions remain, how did these bones get here and why? Well, I guess because he just came here to the US Hello, for man. some reason. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can okay. we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals. A passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know, mess with you. <laughs> Sean, what happened last year, I, I had no control over that. I, I tried to resist. I understand. So probably something that happened. Your old team, maybe they don't. But we've seen that sort of thing before. We're talking about talking about something that happens in get to the bottom of Odyssey or something like that. End for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. I honestly Believe wish I was Odyssey. playing Odyssey before this, but I'm playing the source. Problem. It's just a few more weeks, yeah. Just until we figure this out. You're right. I know you're right. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the plant. John? Don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. <laughs> Not yet. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Let's talk to Rebecca. Feeling okay? Better. But I'm worried that it could happen again. The two data streams. I, mean, I can't promise it won't. I barely understand it myself. It felt like two minds fighting over one brain. It hurt like a shotgun to the head. Right. There's something about this Viking's DNA sample that feels dense, noisy. Could it be the staff interfering somehow? How do you mean? My headaches, my temper. They started the day I got that thing. I hope you're not making excuses for, you know, your friend. Jesus, no. I'm not. Sorry, just take it easy. And if you feel yourself slipping again, let us know. I'm trying. I really am. Okay. Guess I'm ready to go then.
All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Well, that's good for us, because I don't really feel like going a week. <laughs> Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams... That's I Bassam, I think, right? ...that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. That sounds exactly like Bassam. I think that it's probably exactly. him. That is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. We're back as Zavor. This has been really good so far. I'm excited to be in England now. Be setting up camp and uh, getting ready to explore. Here we are, guys. We have made it. It's crazy that it takes a week to get here. She is. England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. <laughs> we must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory, the Kingdom of Mercia. Largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, dig in your oars. All standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all. On yeah, she's way. over there in that we'll ship. See you soon. Say long. Yes. Okay. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. <laughs> Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, but they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land. And carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits There's a in lot of treasure a monastery, here. A place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We come um, to our gods and make wishes well, to him, like our sacrifices to Odin, the one-eyed. It's a worship the wolf that holy thing. Him. That is the difference. So. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same. So these us. Saxons are Christian. Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. Anglo-Saxons, that's what they're called. Lightning would take that cross clean off. <laughs> We're not driving the ship, I was wondering, because I was like, am I supposed to be driving? Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar Oh, jeez. Not at all. Oh, they're baptizing them, I think. Someone has to keep the conversation up. 
It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cup jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Okay. So we're just going, are we just going to a settlement and then just raiding? Like, what's going on? Oh, great. Okay, so we're going to raid this area and then we're going to do it. Well, there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Hello? Am I supposed to get off? What's going on? Hello? Guys? What do you think you're doing? There we go. Just had to wait. The guards here are vigilant. <laughs> ah, great. These people are really strong, jeez. Oh. She's out on them, that works. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get some skills while I'm here. Um, way of the bear, sure. Sure, cool. Release the naval chain while we're here. side. Oh, I'm bot. There you go. Okay, I'll hop on in a second. Can I? Okay. Oh, well then. Thank you. Let me hop on. Appreciate it. We are all ready to go. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. 
You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will That's starve. That's cool. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. <laughs> Ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready? Made! We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. The ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Guess we'll be going there then. Hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Hmm. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Okay. Be very careful here, because they could be waiting for us to strike. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. Mm. We should proceed on foot, as they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a young. And if they are foes, then we find Um, them. I hope they are friends, but if they're foes, then I guess we'll just kill them. Hello. Are you guys friendly people, or are you guys bad? I hope you guys are good. Dock the ship. These men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Avon! Hey! On me! I mean, you're speaking English right now, but you're in technically you'd be speaking Norse. But yeah, I get it. So they're definitely Anglo-Saxon people. Hello. Oi, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes before. Oh, <laughs> he's got a British years. accent. A British accent. You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, and you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakraut, and draw your weapon. Oh! Okay, I guess we're just fighting people. Okay, wow. They really don't like us. Whoa! Oh. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. <clears throat> What's going on? You need help? Here, I'll revive you. Hop on up, people. Oh, okay. That's great. Let me kill these pieces of the crap and I'll revive you. Ow. Thank you. 
These are the bandit people. The English bandits. Hey, don't jab my people. Excuse me. Nice try. Not today. Let me revive our friends. Get one more guy anyway. Up on up, sir. I'm trying to revive you before, but I couldn't because this person just shot you down immediately after. You're okay, lady. Thanks. Hello. Give me the final blow. Woo! Okay, you're done. I did it. Have a look around, all of you. I want no more support. There you go. Have a look around, all of you. I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Can I just go through the door? Oh, this is a really broken up place. Excuse me. Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. Oh. That's you that's. Jeez. Let us walk, and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people. I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Hastan Yal's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. Well, they're good people, so you can go free. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Doug? <laughs> Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Yanli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. That's then fine. Be done. The As we do need some help. You. Okay. From strangers into friends into family. Hmm. Uh oh. The others have arrived. Come. Oh, that's a good thing. I was like, what? I have a good feeling about this place. Me too. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Our new home in England. Welcome. Look at us, all working together. Looking good, guys. I'm gonna end the video right here for today, actually. We're gonna end it right here. I don't want things to cut over. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now. If you like the video, make sure to like button and subscribe button below because will help me out. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video for some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla here on the channel. Bye-bye for now. I can't even speak that fast. Bye, guys. <laughs>